keeping the show is so that seniors and caregivers can share their ideas and questions on how we can age gracefully and in a vertical position for as long as our good genes will allow. And if we've inherited bad genes, how to outwit them. Our topics include senior housing, financial, legal, safety, travel, health issues, interesting senior events in the community, and most of all, tips on how to put old on hold. If your question is, who am I going to call to bring the kind of services into my home that I need because I can't get out? House Calls on Wheels provides both medical and non-medical services in your home. They can bring in doctors, dentists, nurses, therapists, and more. And those medical services are covered by Medicare and most private insurance plans. And they have all sorts of non-medical services, whatever you need. Now, if you use four hours or more of non-medical services per month, you're going to get a free personal emergency button telephone that you can use for both emergencies or daily use. Call House Calls on Wheels toll-free for further information. one 489 8980 That's 1-888-489-8980. For over 30 years, Cruz Hearing and Service has helped thousands of people improve their hearing and enjoy the sounds of their life again. If you don't hear as well as you'd like, Cruz Hearing can help you. They have actually hearing aids that no, the batteries do not need to be recharged. And they also have a caption phone that you can view for free. And also the phone, if you are over 65, is available to you free. So any phone calls you get, you can see captioned if you don't hear that well. Hey, they've got other stuff. If you'd like a free cookbook, call 1-888-489-8980. That's available. You can call Cruise Hearing Direct at 877 456 Two seven eight nine. The number direct is eight seven seven four five six two seven eight nine. Welcome. Am I excited to have a terrific guest on? Her name is Tipa Snow. She is an occupational therapist with over forty years of rich and varied clinical and academic experience. Her experiences led her to the development of the GEMS, that's J-E-M-S, state model. It's the understanding and the progression of dementia and the positive approach, uh, strategies, it's a training program. Her company, Positive Approach to Care, abbreviated P-A-C, provides online and in-person education and products Tipper presents with extraordinary expertise and humor to audiences throughout the whole world. Welcome to the whole world, Tipa. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ike. Little did I know I was on the world stage. I thought I was just talking to somebody on the phone. <laughs> well, that's all right. Pretend that I, uh, it's the stage. It's the stage. The microphone you is your stage. <laughs> Ta-da. I won't drop it. I promise not to drop it. It's not worth it. it you know, I've done it by accident, and it never ends well. <laughs> And uh, uh, she uh, has got a bubbly attitude about her and uh, and an entertaining speaker. She uh, discusses the challenges of Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia and uh, actually is going to be a guest of ours in the great city of Michigan, actually in West Bloomfield, but in Michigan as well. On Wednesday, April the 27th, she is going to be over at Temple Israel, which is in West Bloomfield. If you are interested in attending, it's on Walnut 
Lake Road. Uh, official address is 5725 Walnut Lake Road in West Bloomfield. If you're interested in attending, I plan on being there. Uh, just call our toll-free number 888-489-8980. And uh, I will make arrangements to make sure you got a good seat. But from what I know of uh, TIPA, no matter what seat you take, you're going to be able to appreciate what she does. So uh, tell me, Tipa, I uh, know enough about occupational therapy to be dangerous. So oh, good. Oh, that's the best place to be. Just enough knowledge to get in trouble. <laughs> right. So what uh, uh, actually prompted you to get involved with dementia and, yes. and the Alzheimer's uh, dilemma? I am an incredibly curious person, and I've always been one of those, which is, did you know that at the age of three, you can fit seven gumballs in your mouth? Hmm. You know, the, the, the big gumballs? Um, you can put seven in, eight doesn't quite fit. Um, and so your parents and your grandparents get real worried if you put eight in, and they will manage to get the first one out, that eighth, but when they go for the seventh, if you bite down really hard, they have a hard time getting the others out. Hmm. Um, so as a small child, I would do sort of risky things because I was curious. So if one of them was interesting, I bet eight of them would taste really <laughs> interesting. Um, here's the good news is I didn't actually choke. They did get me out of that situation. But I've always been sort of interested in trying things out, figuring things out, and finding out. And so for me, dementia is an amazing opportunity to take what I think I know and turn it on its head. So when something comes up that's like, well, she's never, what is she doing? Instead of going, no, 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 what are you doing? I go, huh, hmm. hey, Ike, looks like you're getting up out of that chair, hmm. huh? And I see your walker is nowhere in sight. Oh, oh, I didn't, you don't have a walker, huh? <laughs> well, that's interesting. I thought you did. I am so sorry. Rather hmm. than saying, Ike, Ike, where's your walker? Well, you need your walker, which just makes it sound like you've done something wrong when really what happened is your brain forgot you needed a walker. Um, you wanted to get up and go do something, and I recognize, wow, Ike forgot that he needs his walker. But rather than point it out, I said, oh, hey, you're getting up, and Ooh, you're missing, you don't have your, and when you say, I don't use a walker, it's like, oh, you don't use a walker? Huh. I mm. thought you did. I'm so sorry. So we're not having a fight. I'm recognizing where your brain is right now and what kind of support I can offer because <laughs> getting you to wait while I go get the walker is not a likely scenario. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, uh, that's interesting, uh, that you described uh, how you handle those situations and the uh, one lesson that I've always uh, have been uh, very impressed with is that uh, one of the worst things uh, that a, someone can uh, do for when they're dealing with a patient that has dementia or Alzheimer's is to try to combat with them go along with what they seem to be wanting to do. Have you found that as well? Yeah, it's called go with the flow uh -huh. rather than trying to argue because arguing just gets a primitive part of the brain, a very um, sort of self-protective part of the brain to turn on, which means you can't think very well when you're arguing. Um, you're just arguing. And instead when I go, oh, so you, so you were one to talk to your mom. Oh, mm -hmm. well, now... Did you need to ask her something? You just want to talk with her. You're just missing her. Mm -hmm. So rather than say, your mom's dead. I mean, what are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. You know, mm -hmm. what's the point of that? All I do is aggravate you, and all I do is worry you, and I might actually surprise you with information your brain didn't remember. And mm -hmm. it's like, I, I can't fix your brain. I can't make it whole again. But what I can do is recognize what's working and what's not and figure out how to... Because what I did is I didn't lie. I didn't say, oh, yeah, I just talked to her, too. What I said is, huh, sounds like you're missing your mom. Did you have a question for her? 
that maybe I can help you with? Or did you, are you just missing her? Which I'm another person. I'm not your mom, but I can be with you. Maybe that will help. Mm -hmm. Um, but in either case, I've got to figure out how to help you now. And your mom's not here. What would she want me to do for you? Hmm. Tell me, uh, this is maybe off track, but, uh, as I mentioned to you, I am a pharmacist. And Mm. over the years, we uh, service quite a few nursing homes with Uh Alzheimer patients. And uh, one of the things that I always uh, felt awkward about is you'd walk in in most nursing homes. They would say, today is such and such a day with a calendar date. (laughs) <laughs> you can tell already, Ike, where I'm at with that. <laughs> and I uh, uh, just wondered, has that strategy changed at all, or are they still doing it? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I wish I could say, you know, we, fi- we finally got everybody off that, but the reality is we don't have everybody off that. Uh, I think, you know, the, the, rea- the reality is there is a time and place for, you know, what what's today? I really was wondering. And you could say, oh, you're wondering what today is. Well, it's Friday. It's April. Ooh, and you know what? It's getting really ugly. Passover. Mm, right. <laughs> now, so now all of those are true, but mm. I'm not saying it's 2022. It's the you know the yes. the 15th of April. You right. know, we just right. you know what's the point of this? And so I can give you some data, and you could say, oh, right. is is April already? And it's like, oh yeah. Look outside. I think there's some stuff starting to bloom out there. Mm. So my reality orientation is not that kind. But I wish I could say, you know, they've taken down all those boards and they aren't doing that anymore. Eh, that's not true. But some places are learning that it doesn't help, it distresses. Hmm. Now, taking it out of the uh, institutional setting, uh, I'm uh, 83 years old, so my, wow. so my, so my crowd is not too far away uh, from my age. Uh, <laughs> And the uh, uh, thing that I get upset about is, fortunately, uh, I think I'm thinking okay. But mm-hmm. <laughs> the, You've been uh, doing for- good so far. <laughs> I, that I can tell you. The, I mean, so yeah, far you're looking good. Yeah, well, you know? well, that's the way I look at it. And what I was leading up to is I get frustrated when I have people that are 10, 15 years younger than me and we try to remember something that we did together before. And they say, oh, I... I I, I must have Alzheimer's. I must. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my heart, <laughs> and I uh, uh, don't know if this makes sense to you. I said, you know, we all forget. Uh, instead, why don't you say it will come back to you? Uh-huh. And uh, to me, it's made a difference because, and I, I think I've connected uh, with people. Where they uh, right away they say, "Oh, I'm having a senior moment." They think it's cute to say, but I tell them that uh, the more you accentuate of the limitations your mind has, I think you just sort of uh, augment the situation. What do you think of that? Well, what what you're talking about, and I absolutely agree, is I give myself permission to not try, and I think it's a really bad habit to get into because. Normal aging can make it harder to go get stuff because you've got more file cabinets and you've got more stuff to look into and you've got to go back and locate something. And potentially, we aren't so sure now, some of the more recent information, we don't know whether we actually slow down or whether we've just got so much more to go look at that it takes us a little longer to sort through things. But when we stop trying to go do the sorting what we do is give ourselves permission to not bother. And it turns out going and finding things and pulling it up uses a synapse in your brain. And the more you use the synapse, the more available the synapse is. The Mm. less you use the synapse, the less available the synapse is. And so it becomes a self-fulfilling kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What doesn't work well is to have somebody say, now, do you remember when we went out? Remember? Remember? Do you remember? Because remember, it was just like, oh, yeah. did you just, shh, let me think. 
Right. You know, uh, I uh, uh, have uh, mixed feelings about uh, dealing with someone who you see is unfortunately beginning to show some serious signs of dementia, but they're still fairly okay. Uh, so do you think encouraging them, oh, no, you're not really that bad, it's okay. In other words, trying to make them feel better even though you see things aren't that better. Hey, what are your thoughts? Is that good or bad? <laughs> so it's one of those things where if a person says to me, I feel like I'm changing, and what they're noticing is they are changing, and I will say, huh, so it feels like things are different. Tell me more about it. Because I want to be curious and I want to be supportive, but I don't want to be, oh, you're fine, because that's not fair. If they're recognizing something feels wrong to them, I will say, wow, it sounds like you're having some trouble with finding words. So I'm, I'm wondering, do, do the words come to you, after, but it takes longer, or you're you find you can't find them no matter how hard you look. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I think it's worth getting it looked at because I also recognize you're diabetic or you're hypertensive or you have a history of little strokes. It's like, you know what? We should get this looked at before mm -hmm. it becomes something that we just accept as part of you because it might be something that's we could actually do something about mm -hmm. you know what you're not on the right meds you know the meds you've been on a long time they're not working as a pharmacist you know you know that idea that meds don't always work the same way forever right. as we get older right speaking of pharmacy uh, do you have any thoughts about uh, various nutritional supplements to assist in, uh, yeah. in dementia, is there anything in that you can indeed do proactively to uh, to help? What we do know about what we put in inside ourselves, um, it nourishes us. And if it nourishes us well, the crossing between the blood-brain barrier is not as blocked as we thought it was. And so what we put inside ourselves does matter. And so the fact that we frequently are taking in things that we were they're not they're not um natural they're not healthy they're man-made they're substitutions they're meant to taste good and get you to eat more of it because it's a product that was artificially whatever we know that sometimes that process more gl more glucose added we got a lot of sugar in it those kind of things are not good for a human body, and they're not good for a human brain. Um, we know that. And so we're learning about what should we put in, how should we nourish, how should we hydrate, because it really does matter in the long run. And for many of us, we're talking about a very long run. I mean, you're 83. That was a long run. Mm -hmm. um, and so over time, these things add up, and, you know, we can cause harm simply by not doing things well. And so there are things we need for wellness, and all too often we turn to things that are easy to access or taste good, um, and we're actually doing our brain a disservice. So simply put, uh, the whether you have symptoms of dementia or your normal exercise and uh, balanced diet, get enough sleep, those are basic. And, uh, Manage uh, your stress, be right, social. Right, right, so, right, right. <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mom uh, was right. Mom was <laughs> absolutely right. And she was not wrong about the apple either. You know, sort of check out that apple thing. <laughs> get out of the way of the apple. Tell me, I hate yep. to put you on the spot, but are there... Uh, uh, the, David Letterman used to have the top ten, so I'm going to try to make it easy. Do you have three important things that uh, should be remembered uh, that by people suffering from uh, dementia? What are the three important things to remember? Um, have a good support system. It really does matter. Find and, and create a new family if the one you have isn't working out for you. Find the right support because you will need it. So get support in place before you need it. The second is plan to live well. 
plan to live well. Dementia is something that can get in your way, but it doesn't need to end who you are and how you are. We, we can make adjustments if we get the right support and we recognize I'm still me. I'm still living and with the right support I can live much better than trying to go it alone or hang on to what I can't do if I can't do it. But I've got to be willing to adapt. And so the third piece is we got to plan for change. We've got to recognize change is happening, uh, whether I want it or not. So how will I help myself with change? How can I get more comfortable with the idea, boy, I am different in the morning than I am in the evening. Mm. So I need to look at my day and how I plan it out. Mm. Mm. Well, you know... Uh well, unfortunately, I'd like to talk to you for another couple of hours, but <laughs> we've uh, practically run out of time. Yeah. And I uh, just uh, was going to uh, uh, ask as to uh, what do you uh, wish more people understood about dementia? It's an umbrella term. That means your brain is changing. And ultimately, yes, it's a terminal illness, but there's a lot of living to do before the end and how we support someone really does matter hmm. all right so uh, you know uh, I'm reminded of a remark this fellow uh, said as he was uh, on in years and uh, he said gee if, if I knew I was going to live this long I would have taken better care of myself <laughs> so, there you go <laughs> good so, plan good plan so, so that, that that is very important, and I really am impressed with uh, uh, how you have your uh, seminars put together. It's going to be uh, a Temple Israel. Uh, if anyone wants to uh, get a hold of you uh, when you're not speaking and stuff, do you have uh, contact information you'd like to give out? Absolutely. I have a website which has a lot at it, but if you get up with us at info at teepasnow.com, which mm-hmm. is an email, info at teepasnow.com, we will be happy to get back with you as soon as we can. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I have my safety net phone number that I like to give out all of the time, which is 888-489-8980, 888 489 Eight zero and uh, just uh, wondering, uh, uh, Tipa. And by the way, uh, it's spelled T as in Tom, double E, P as in Paul, A Tipa Snow. Uh, do you welcome other speaking opportunities? Uh, I do. We are always open to having conversations because communication is how we connect and learn. So, All right. Thanks so much, Ike. Okay, it's been a delight and a pleasure. I look forward to meeting you. Have a Absolutely. great day. <laughs> bye. You too. Right. Have a great Bye-bye. day. Right. Bye. I wanted to share what I'd like to call a glimmer of hope. In fact, it was identified that way in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease that memory health has actually got an opportunity now to be improved by way of a great product called Memory Health. I'm proud to be promoting it. As a pharmacist, I can tell you that uh, we spend so much time adding nutrition to our bodies. You hear about the vegetables that you should be eating and fruit. By all means, great advice but it's always intended for the body. Memory Health is a revolutionary product that actually uses the same principle of nutrition, but it is for the brain. The carotenoids that uh, true is involved from the carrots. <laughs> the uh, ingredients are well thought out, and the ingredients have actually been used in various forms of improving health. Now there is hope that it can help in the early stages of Alzheimer's. And if your family has got a history of Alzheimer's, by all means, consider memory health. It contains the carotenoids, 
luton, xeanthin, mesoxanthin, and it's all power based from plant food and nutritionists. It's, it's, it's actually been approved the ingredients by the FDA, and it's the only product that has been scientifically shown to improve brain health. There are some very prominent doctors locally that have endorsed it and use it in their practice. If you are interested in trying it out, if at the end of three-month period you do not get any improvement in your overall thinking capability, then you will get your money back. Call our toll-free number, 888-489-8980, for further details. Memory health improves cognitive function and memory. It reduces brain fog. It improves the mood. It's made and distributed in the United States, and it's got a supplement certified seal of approval. It actually improves overall brain health. You do not need a prescription for it. There's no side effects. And the patent is available as well. If you're interested for a nearby physician that has it, I'll be glad to put you in touch. Call our toll-free number, 888-489-8980. And if you log on to memoryhealth.com and uh, mention Ike or slash Ike, you will get a 10% discount. You can get more peace of mind with memory health and also find the benefits that if you have any other members of the family that are beginning to sort of forget things. In fact, I get frustrated when I hear people say, oh, I've got a senior moment. Well, it's one thing to sort of joke and laugh about it. It's another to do something about it. I personally have used it for my situation because, quite frankly, now that I'm on in my ears a bit, (laughs) I don't think as clearly as I used to. I cannot say it's revolutionized my thinking, but it certainly makes me feel better. If you'd like to try it, give me a call at 888-489-8980. Or better yet, log on to memoryhealth.com slash Ike and you'll get a 10% discount. And if you'd like to go by a nearby clinic in your area, give me a call. I cannot tell you how excited I am about having something that I feel has got scientific backing and at the same time, more important, it helps improve your memory. It is one thing to complain about how you're forgetting your keys and all that kind of stuff. And that's not going to necessarily eliminate all of that, but it sure will help you in your everyday life. Interestingly enough, Some people see a difference in their mood in as little as 30 days. But in all fairness, you have to try it out for at least three months. And it's available simply by calling 888-489-8980, and I can put you in touch with some prominent doctors who have endorsed it, as well as make it available maybe in your doctor's office. And I'll be glad to detail any of your doctors that you're seeing to give them peace of mind so they can give you peace of mind. (laughs) Call 888-489-8980. You know, there is something very important in life, that when you are faced with an obstacle, rather than using it as a stumbling block, Use it as a stepping stone. I'd like to share more thoughts with you on our next visit, but right now I'd like to leave you with my favorite parting thought, which is yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift, 
and that's why we call it the present. Please enjoy your present by looking and living life with the bright side of aging. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Network Radio Show. Our mission is to interview successful entrepreneurs who are willing to share with us their ideas and experiences, both the successes and the failures. Because as it has been jokingly said, you should learn from the mistakes of others because you'll never live long enough to make them all yourself. My name is Ike Engelbaum. And I'm the founder of the Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan, which is a group of motivated people that are all interested in helping each other and achieving our personal and professional goals. Please check out our website, entrepreneursnetworkofmichigan.com, for meeting schedule as well as self-improvement material. Our philosophy is that if it's to be, it's up to me. For over 30 years, Cruise Hearing and Service has helped thousands of people improve their hearing and enjoy the sounds of their life again. If you don't hear as well as you'd like, Cruise Hearing can help you. They have actually hearing aids that not, the batteries do not need to be recharged. And they also have a caption phone that you can view for free. And also the phone, if you are over 65, is available to you free. So any phone calls you get, you can see captioned if you don't hear that well. Hey, they've got other stuff. If you'd like a free cookbook, call 1-888-489-8980. That's available. You can call Cruise Hearing Direct at 877 456 Two seven eight nine. The number direct is eight seven seven four five six two seven eight nine. Family run for over eighty eight years, French Hardware has remained family owned and operated. French Hardware is one of a kind. You'll find the newest products offered on TV at very competitive prices. You'll also find safety products, grab bars for bathrooms, battery-operated light switches, remote control devices that you can turn your lamps on or any electrical device. You don't have to run out there anymore. Just press the button. Better yet, just visit Friends Hardware located on Main Street at, uh, and 11 and a half Mile Road. Uh, they're open every day. If you wish to call, it's 248 248- Five four four eight one one one. That's two four eight five four four eight one one one. Better yet, just visit Eleven and a Half Mile Road and Main Street, Friends Hardware. And welcome. And I'm really excited about having a uh, super entrepreneur on the air with me. His name is Frederick Dudek. And uh, Frederick uh, is now uh, out there in Arizona after uh, having lived in Michigan and comes back to Michigan periodically, but I can't blame him. (laughs) The spring day we're having here today uh, sort of leaves a a lot to be desired, but it ain't bad. And uh, Frederick uh, is uh, actually an international sales and marketing executive, and uh, participates in our uh, entrepreneur network meetings. And these are Zoom meetings, so you have no excuse for not attending. We meet uh, next Tuesday from 12 to 1, and that's going to be uh, uh, April the 12th, uh, 12 noon to 1, then in two weeks on the 26th. We try to make them every other Tuesday. So this month, it's the second and the fourth Tuesday. If you want to write it down on your calendar, it's a wonderful group uh, that I'm proud to be involved in coordinating. We've been doing the Entrepreneurs Network meetings now for over five, oh, 50 years. <laughs> Almost 50 years, anyway. And uh, this obviously was before Zoom. <laughs> And uh, 
If you are interested in starting your own business, building your own business, and just being at the top of your craft, so to speak, call us on our toll-free number, 888-489-8980. That's 888-489-8980 when we're off the air. Uh, We uh, welcome calls while we're on the air. Uh, So we've got about 20 minutes or so uh, today. And every Wednesday, as you know, we're on from 11.30 to 12 noon in the entrepreneur segment. So by all means, if it's something uh, related to what we're talking about, you're certainly welcome to call in while we're on the air. The -the on-the-air number is 248 557 3300. That's only while we're on the air. 248-557-3300. If you have a question or a thought. But by all means, let's stay in touch. The key to success is really staying connected. And that's what the Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan is all about. And uh, the wonderful thing about technology is that now... Even though uh, Frederick Dudek has moved to Arizona, we're still able to have him participate in our meetings, which he does, and he's spoken to our group. But uh, uh, Frederick Dudek, and he's got a clever, actually, website, <laughs> frederickdudek.com. And that's spelled D as in David, U, D as in David, E, K. And he also has businesssuperfans.com. Frederick Dudek is an international sales and marketing executive with over 30-plus years of experience. And in his book, he shares 12 time-tested approaches to achieving constant and inexpensive and repeatable results for your success. In fact, he claims if you implement his strategy, you can achieve the business success you desire while, get this, you'll be working less and earning more. Is that right, Frederick Dudek? (laughs) <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Wow. Thank you, eh? <laughs> what a deal. What a deal. <laughs> That's wonderful. And uh, for those of you uh, who do not know his multi talents, uh, you're multilingual, right? How many uh, languages are you able to communicate in? Well, I speak uh, fluently in French, and uh, I'm. Uh, I speak uh, broken Spanish, broken Polish, and uh, broken German. <laughs> wow. So enough to at least uh, get uh, get by from the locals. And uh, but uh, you know, I just uh, don't have a chance to practice those languages on a regular basis. Uh-huh. Well, you know, uh, this may seem like uh, off topic, but uh, I've had uh, the actual uh, opportunity over the years to have spoken five different languages and uh, unfortunately I have a small brain so anytime I learned a new language uh, I forgot (laughs) some of the older ones fortunately I'm still able to speak English fairly decently and uh, I have a theory that if you learn different languages your brain is actually retrained to think in different ways because a language, each language has a way of constructing a sentence with uh, your uh, ability to be able to think somewhat differently. Have, Have you found that because of your talent with being multilingual that you're able to come up with some creative ideas just because you have to think in different language? Does that make sense? (laughs) Yeah, it makes sense, but uh, no, I mean, usually when I'm 
thinking in English, I'm thinking English. If I'm in France or someplace else where it's French and I'm speaking only French, then I think in French. I don't necessarily convert from one language to the other to figure out what the meaning is. So uh, it's, you know, that's you know once you get a language ingrained into you, um, you know it just you operate that way. So, but right. anyway. Right. Well, you know, uh, I uh, uh, actually uh, uh, would imagine too that talking about sales and marketing, if you want to ingratiate yourself to uh, clients, is uh, you're fortunate in that you can speak different languages, that if they're of that particular ethnicity, if you throw in a few of their words in your presentation, it develops sort of a stronger bond. Would you agree? <laughs> Um, well, I would agree. I mean, as an example, uh, you know, I do some work with a company called A Foreign Language uh, Service in Mesa, Arizona. Their website is 400 Languages. Hmm. And uh, if you watch the Oscars uh, recently, uh, where Troy was uh, one and supporting World War, and he is a deaf person, and he had an ASL translator. Well, A Foreign Language Service provides both um, uh, ASL uh, which is American Sign Language interpreting, and also, um, uh, you know, on-site, in-person video and telephonic and document translations and stuff. And they happen to be a sponsor of my book, Business Superfans, The Winner's Playbook. Uh, right. Well, I uh, actually uh, wanted to uh, find out uh, uh, your... The, you know, they, there's an old line about you can't tell a book by its cover... That cover that you have for business super fans is just fantastic, <laughs> and it really tells you. Oh, thank you. It, uh, <laughs> we we, uh, we had hired a, a, a photographer, professional photographer, and uh -huh. uh, basically it was a fail. And uh, so I bought a green screen, and uh, I set up a tripod with my iPhone. I took the photo with my iPhone. Hmm. And I timed it, and our fifth take, we got the picture that we that I wanted, and yeah. we were done. It's like I said, I looked at it, and it says that's it, that's the picture for the cover, <laughs> and then the rest uh, came together. Well, that's wonderful. Now, what prompted you to write the book? Well, a very good question. Uh, business super fans has taken me about uh, I'd say four years to to put together. Uh, I started in a couple different uh, directions and then, uh, you know, just didn't like where I was going in the, in the direction, so I tossed that out. And finally, when I got some traction, got some good feedback, and I knew that I was onto something, uh, it really kind of created it. And, and the reason I, you know, to answer the, the question specifically, one of the things that I've realized is that uh, there's a lot of people that talk about uh, you know, customer retention, how to engage with your customers, how to get referrals from customers and all that stuff. Then there's another group of people that talk about, well, this is about uh, employees and how to motivate employees, how to keep employees and all that stuff. And nobody really ever talks about business alliance partners, you know, the, the painter and the flooring guy that uh, work together and, and, and on, on uh, different opportunities. And what I realized is that, in reality, all three are very interconnected. You've got, you know, if you you got your employees, number one, so you got to make sure that they're taken care of and they're happy. Your, their, your employees are happy. They're going to take care of your customers. Your customers are going to be happy. Uh, you know, they're going to uh, start promoting you. Same thing with your business alliance partners. You know, you take care of them. They're going to be happiness, and it, it just it's it, the whole thing is really to elevating or converting your customers, your employees, and your business alliance partners into a team of super fans that attract referrals, and you know what I would call rocking referrals, people that are ready to buy, uh, which will lead to sales success. Hmm. You know, uh, when you uh, really. Uh uh, when I bring it down to uh, uh, the uh, whole aspect of entrepreneurship, uh, one of the thoughts that comes up quite routinely is the fact that if you really want to be successful in uh, your 
a professional career, you only have a limited amount of time of telling a potential prospect how good you are. But if you can get existing customers that you're dealing with to recommend you, wow, that is magnified. That's what this whole book is. That's exactly what this whole book is. Imagine having a team of customers, employees, and business alliance partners cheering you on and promoting your business. You can only do one thing, explode and grow. Mm. Right. Well, you know... And, uh, and it's really it's really cost-effective uh, because there's little things in the book, you know, and that's why we call it a winner's playbook because uh, we play a little bit on the sports team, theme, but the playbook is, there, you know, it's there's how-tos, so it's not just a book, but there's actual action plans in there and steps that you can do, and then what we've created uniquely is the super fan scorecard. So at the end of each chapter, you can rate yourself as to how is your business doing compared to the subject uh, matter of that given chapter. And then you take that score, which is a 0 to a 10, and you go to a wheel, and then you start putting in the dots and you connect the wheel. Most businesses will have a dilapidated wheel because they need some work. And then we've created an action plan uh, that will help them, okay, I'm weak in these particular areas. How am I going to do them? What's it going to take to get them done? Who's going to do it? When am I going to get it done? Hmm. Wow. So in other words, you become your self-monitoring individual. <laughs> well, the, uh, yes, in, in a way, but then we've added what we call the Business Superfan Accelerator Community, which is free to become a member, and uh, the, which they can find on businesssuperfans.com. And that community is there to you know, help you know, other entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, uh, small, medium-sized businesses interact with one another, and then they can also get access to me to ask questions, and et cetera, and, you know, we'll keep them accountable on on the things that they're doing. Uh, you know, and we've got some products that we're uh, introducing that will um, help uh, the businesses. For example, we've created a uh, the Superfan Avatar, and uh, that took, you know, several weeks to put together because we collected all the Avatar templates, verbiage, et cetera, from all over the Internet that we could. We combined and created what we can consider the best in the business, and that's available off the Business Superfans website. And how did you? How do people get a hold of the book? Uh, they can go to two places. They can go to Amazon.com and search for Business Superfans. The uh, ebook is on sale for ninety-nine cents. Wow! Paperback. <laughs> ninety-nine yeah. cents. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 99 cents, it's on sale, and uh, it's been a number one new release for over a week now. Hey, and it's hey. hit number, th- it's number, it did hit number three as a bestseller. We're, we're striving to get to number one. Um, and then um, the paperback is 1995. And, um, and then, uh, or they can also go to businesssuperfans.com and then click on the book and They'll take it back to Amazon. And then uh, next week we'll be expanding that out to uh, Apple Books and uh, uh, Barnes & Noble and all those other places. Hmm. That's fantastic. So uh, uh, repeat again as to what they do if they want to get old. Uh, if it would go through, uh, the, the, if they want the e-book, it's 99 cents. Go for it. Okay, yeah. So if somebody wants the Business Superfans uh, ebook or the Kindle version, uh, they can just go to Amazon.com. It is on sale right now for $0.99. Cents. Mm-hmm. Or they can purchase the paperback book for $19.95. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, or they can go to BusinessSuperfans.com and uh, order it from there, which will really redirect them back to Amazon. So, um, And all they need to do is search for Business Superfans. Hmm. And uh, we'll we'll show up uh, there. We've already gotten several five star reviews, and um, in, in conjunction, we'll be announcing uh, the new uh, Business Superfans podcast, which will be coming out uh, sometime later this month. Wow, that's really exciting! Now, do you uh, do any coaching by phone, or is it primarily 
uh, Arizona based. <laughs> uh, no, it's that's where the, the business super fans accelerate community. We, the, you know, they can somebody can become a member for free. It's actually they must apply, uh, and the reason they must uh, submit an application: a, we want to make sure that they're, that they're a real business owner, and uh, so we want to keep the group uh, primarily business owners or industry experts, and then they'll be scheduled uh, um, coaching and uh, video live uh, streaming video. Ask you know, ask Frederick anything. And we're uh, in conjunction with uh, subject matter experts. So, you know, we're building a whole thing around uh, the book to really help people um, achieve their goal of building their own team of energetic, energized, enthusiastic business superfans. Right. Well, I'll tell you, just looking at that. Uh, book cover that gets you really excited. <laughs> you have, oh, thank you, you. Uh, you. Uh, have the faces painted and all, and it is it just sort of sparks <laughs> enthusiasm just in looking at the cover. And if anyone is interested in being in touch with you, they're always welcome to call our toll free number eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. And I know uh, when your uh, schedule does allow for it, you participate in our Zoom meetings, so uh, they can actually mm-hmm. speak to you directly uh, every other Tuesday while we're on uh, the Zoom call, because that's what it's all about. But in the interim, in between, uh, by all means, they can call our toll-free number, 888-489-8980. And I can hardly wait to get a hold of that book so I can feel the uh, enthusiasm. <laughs> and, and my there you go. It's, uh, it's 169, 169 pages of uh, reading. It's 182 pages is total. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, pretty excited about how it's, how, how it's come out. Yeah, well, it's great. And I uh, uh, couldn't help but pick up on the fact that uh, this is not just, you know, uh, something you read about and you say, hey, that's interesting. You have an actual action plan that goes along with it. And that's really the key in being successful. It's one thing to, as they say, uh, talk the walk, but you actually walk the talk and the book and you have 12 time-tested approaches so that if you yes. take <laughs> that, 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 that's wonderful we have 12 months a year hint, hint, hint <laughs> Frederick Dudek yeah. you are indeed an international sales and marketing executive and I'm so delighted that you had a chance to call in and we'll talk soon right now we're going to take a brief break and we'll be right Thank you, Ike. back. Okay. All right. <laughs> if your question is, who am I going to call to bring the kind of services into my home that I need because I can't get out? House Calls on Wheels provides both medical and non-medical services in your home. They can bring in doctors, dentists, nurses, therapists, and more. And those medical services are covered by Medicare and most private insurance plans. And they have all sorts of non-medical services, whatever you need. Now, if you use four hours or more of non-medical services per month, you're going to get a free personal emergency button telephone that you can use for both emergencies or daily use. Call House Calls on Wheels toll-free for further information. one 888 Four eighty nine eighty nine eighty. That's one eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. For over 30 years, Screws Hearing and Service has helped thousands of people improve their hearing and enjoy the sounds of their life again. If you don't hear as well as you'd like, Screws Hearing can help you. They have actually hearing aids that the batteries do not need to be recharged. And they also have a caption phone that you can view for free. 
And also the phone, if you are over 65, is available to you free. So any phone calls you get, you can see captioned if you don't hear that well. Hey, they've got other stuff. If you'd like the free cookbook, call 1-888-489-8980. That's available. You can call Cruz Hearing Direct at 877 456 2789. The number direct is 877-456-2789. And I'm not sure whether you picked up on uh, the advantage of uh, actually uh, having a super fan. And uh, one of them is to uh, be a super fan, you have to do super type stuff. And it doesn't mean that you have to do heavy lifting or what have you, but ingratiating yourself to uh, your clients. And uh, if uh, you have someone in your family or friends that are developing any uh, hearing problems, at Cruz Hearing, he has what's uh, called a caption phone that you can see at any of his three offices. he has an office on Orchard Lake Road, north of uh, 14 Mile Road and uh, Farmington Hills, one in Waterford, and another one in uh, Livonia. So uh, by all means, uh, if you have someone that has any difficulty in hearing, you can actually get a free regular phone. You don't have to change your phone number. It plugs in like a regular phone, and whoever calls you, whatever they're saying is captioned right on the screen. So in other words, you can see what the verbiage of what they're saying. And what a great gift that would be if you've got some clients that indeed have some uh, difficulty in hearing, and if it's a, if they're 65 or over, it's free. And that you know, is that extra step that you need. Our whole concept of Entrepreneur's Network is to give you an opportunity to really do something, as we call it, the USP, your unique selling proposition. And uh, we strongly stress, aside from connecting, you should be on the path of self-improvement. You know, people assume that if they do go to college and get a degree, that they're set for life as far as the knowledge. That's just a sort of a first step to your long journey. You should never stop self-improving. And we have the Entrepreneur's Toolkit. It's a book that covers 25 areas. Aside from Frederick Dudek's great book on business superfans, There are some basic things that as you age, you forget that you used to do and haven't done. And for those of you who are looking to start a business and not quite sure how to go about it, that's how I I give out my toll-free number, 888-489-8980. We have financing people that can help you get your money you need to get started. You obviously have to make a commitment to where you want to go. And if you're not quite sure which path to take, we can help you for that as well. The key is not to just uh, worry about things that you cannot do. Identify things that you can do. So by all means, stay in touch with us. Our toll-free number is 888-489-8980. And uh, we can get you in on the Zoom calls. It's free. You can do it from your home or your office or even your car as long as you're keeping your eyes on the road. (laughs) And I don't suggest you stay in the car driving while you're on the Zoom meeting. I am talking about in a stationary position. And uh, I'd like to share some other thoughts with you on our next visit because this visit I have to wrap up. And I don't want to leave without my favorite parting thought, which is, if you really want to get anything done in life, 
you'll find a way. And if you don't, you'll find an excuse. And there is no excuse for not achieving your dreams and goals in America. Because it is the greatest country in the whole world. Remember, a goal is just a dream with a deadline. WNZK has available a few good hours of airtime for a few good programs to serve their communities. Radio is better than ever.